In this whole animation you will learn how to use analog multimeter. Hello guys, welcome to our YouTube channel, Source of Skills. Please like and subscribe for more informative videos. Firstly, we will discuss user interface of multimeter. This is multimeter scale. This is multimeter needle or pointer. This is calibrating knob. This is zero ohm adjuster. This is selection area. This is connecting ports. This is positive probe. This is negative probe. How to measure DC current with an analog multimeter. Take an analog multimeter. Connect black probe with common port. Connect red probe with positive port. Blinking line show the DC current section. Arrow shows the measuring range of DC current. Take a LED and use it as a load. Longer terminal is positive and shorter terminal is negative. Take a phone battery and use it as a power source. Select 250 mA range. Now, it's time to calibrate the multimeter. If you see the needle, it is not at zero. In order to move needle at zero, rotate zero ohm knob clockwise anti-clockwise with the help of screwdriver. Now our multimeter is calibrated and ready to take reading. Connect black probe of multimeter to negative terminal of battery and red probe of multimeter to longer terminal of LED load. Now, take a piece of wire and use it, to connect shorter terminal of LED load to positive terminal of power source. Circuit is completed and current is flowing from negative terminal to positive terminal of battery through the LED lamp. That flowing current, we are measuring. Here is a question. There are many scales on display, which scale we need to see. We know that have selected 250 mA range. So, we will see that scale. If we see to needle, it is at about, 25. It's mean our load is taking 25 mA current. Always connect multimeter in series of circuit to measure current. This is how we can measure DC current. How to check DC voltage. We have a multimeter to measure DC voltage. Connect black probe of multimeter with common port and red probe of multimeter with positive port. Blinking line shows DC voltage section. Arrow shows DC volt range which we can measure. I am taking phone battery to measure DC voltage. That terminal is positive and, that terminal is negative. If we see here, it's a 3.5 volts battery so, we need to select 10 volts range. If we don't know voltage of battery, we should select maximum voltage range of multimeter firstly, then decrease in need. If we see the needle, it is not at zero. So, it needs to calibrate before taking any reading. In order to calibrate it, rotate zero ohmic knob clockwise anti-clockwise with the help of screwdriver. Now it is calibrated and ready to take reading. Connect positive terminal of battery to the red wire and negative terminal of battery to black wire. We will read 10 volts scale. If we select 50 volts range then we will read 50 volts scale and if we select 250 volts range then we will read 250 scale. But for now, we will read 10 volts scale. If we see to needle it shows about 3.5 volts. This is how we can measure DC voltage. How we can measure AC voltage with the help of analog multimeter. We have a multimeter. To measure AC voltage, connect black probe with common port. And red probe with positive port. Blinking line show AC voltage section. And arrow show range of voltage which we can measure. Select 250 volts range. Now, it's time to calibrate the multimeter. If you see the multimeter needle, it is not at zero. In order to move it at zero, rotate zero ohmic knob clockwise anti-clockwise with the help of a screwdriver. Now our multimeter is calibrated and ready to take reading. 
Take a AC power source in order to measure AC voltage. Put probes into the extension lead connection. We need to read 250 scale because we have selected 250 volts, measuring range. Multimeter is showing about 225 volts. This is how we can measure AC voltage. How to measure resistance with the help of analog multimeter. Take a multimeter. Connect red probe with ohmic port. Connect black probe with common port. Blinking line shows the ohmic section. Arrow shows, measuring range of resistance. Select X10 range. It's time to calibrate the multimeter. Short both probes. If you notice multimeter needle is not at, 0 ohm. Rotate ohmic knob, clockwise or anti-clockwise in order to adjust needle, at 0 scale. Disconnect the probes. Now our multimeter is calibrated and ready to take reading. Take a resistor which value we need to measure. Connect probes to resistor. If you found, no movement or little deflection in needle, it means, our selected range is less and resistor has greater value. Disconnect the resistor. Now, I am selecting X100 range. Short both probes again, in order to calibrate it. Rotate ohmic knob, clockwise or anti-clockwise in order to adjust needle, at zero scale. Disconnect the probes. Reconnect the resistor again. If you see the arrow, it is pointing out ohm symbol. So, we need to read that scale. Needle is, at 5. Note down, 5 separately and see which range, we have selected. We have selected x100 multiplier. Take this 100 and multiply it with 5. We have 500 ohm value. This is how we can measure resistance. How to check continuity, with the help of analog multimeter. This is analog multimeter, to check continuity of electrical switch. Connect, black probe with common port and red probe, with positive port. Now, I am taking electrical switch, to test whether it is working or not. In other words, we will check its continuity. Before we check its continuity, let's try to understand, how electrical switch works, with the help of a diagram. If we see to switch, it is off. When switch is off, it will break the circuit that's why lamp will remain off. Move the handle in order to turn on the electrical switch. You can see it is passing the current, that's why lamp has been turned on. So we have concluded. In off position switch should not pass the current, and in on position, switch must pass the current. Let's move back to check continuity of electrical switch. Move the selector switch to the buzzer. Connect, red probe with one side of the switch and black probe to the other side. Firstly, we are testing off position switch. Multimeter produce no sound, so it is ok in off position. Now, turn on the switch. Multimeter is producing sound, it means switch is also working properly in on position. This is how we can check continuity. Thanks for watching this animation.